Now here's a game that there's not many left of in the world. Midway's Box ba Bosconian. <laughs> this one came out the same year as Galaga, and it's similar. The board system is very similar. This is a cabaret, and this particular machine is going in my collection. I collect the smaller cabaret versions. There are full-size uprights, but there's very few of any left out there in the world. What's neat about this, see the top marquee? This is a wraparound piece of, um, of um, plexiglass that's similar to Miss Pac-Man and Galaga, but this is a much wider piece. Uh, I think Kick Band used this too. But what a nice little cabinet. Uh, we've cleaned this up. The original monitor glass, the original control panel overlay is in great shape. We put uh, red tea molding in lieu of the original black. And Wallace went over the sides. This is the original wood grain cabinet that was uh, polished up here. I'll come around back too. Let me show you a little trick what you should do. If you have arcade video games in your house, put this little clip on, this white clip. These come out of the insides of any games you're throwing out. And see, and you just snap in your cord like that, and then it makes it really nice. It keeps it off the floor, and uh, you won't roll the game over it. Hey, I'm going to show you what we did inside this, too. We've packed this baby in. The little cabarets, everything's kind of stuffed in here. The 13-inch monitor has been uh, rebuilt with new um, capacitors. The logic board is very similar to Galaga. It's not the same, but it's similar. But a lot of the legs on the logic board are silver and they actually tarnished so we cleaned them all with a fiberglass eraser so the chips are nice and clean and see what this bubble wrap is right here that's a spare Bosconian board I always have one spare board in all the games I have at my house in case the board fails I always have a spare the original card is still here that tells you how to do the settings we took out the wretched power supply that was in here at one point and we put in a, a new um, uh, screw terminal power supply. So my logic board gets nice, steady voltage. Uh, some of you have seen this game in the past. It's a pretty neat play. Um, I'll just give you a, a brief run around here. Rally X had this similar little maze. You see the uh, white dot is me, and the green dot are the space alive, stations. Alive. I have to fire in there. See, I can actually fire up uh, straight back and also uh, to the back of me. I, I was pointing, that's why I died there real quick. Let me try this again here. I'll we'll go up there and I shoot right in the center and that kills it. Now, the um, asteroids you see floating around can also be killed. The space station fires back at you too. See, I can fire it both directions. And then I want to fire straight up in there and kill that baby. Come on, come on. Am I that bad at this? Uh-oh. Got some more issues. We blew him up. Now I'm going over to the last space station over here in the corner. See? Now you know what? I was very clever. I set the game up for five men rather than three because I'm so bad. To be perfectly honest with you, I, just, I haven't played this game in years. We just finished this machine today, so I'm anxious to take it on. Now, the second wave has four space stations, but, but they only open up occasionally. You have to wait until the center opens up. Let me get near one here first. See, look, it's closed, but now it opened up. You didn't really see that too well. Let me, uh-oh. We got a formation. Notice a lot of the sounds are a little like the Galaga. What's neat though is this logic board actually has speech where Galaga didn't. Did I hear a whistle from you, Kurt? Are you making fun of my games? Turn the camera around. What? Where is he? Where is he? Are you making fun of my stuff? Oh, he hit back there. He hit back there. That's him making Talks. fun of my Bosconian. Talks. Just because of time. He's jealous. You're jealous of my stuff. Anyway, here is Bosconian, the game of the future, and it's going to my game room. The kids will go nuts for it. Kids go nuts for it. How about renting a game for your next party? My daughter, Terry, will tell you all about renting games for your next event. Do you want your
your next party to be a big hit? Run one or more of our games for your next event. We have both old and new pinball machines. Or a game that up to four people can play at the same time. Touchscreen games are a lot of fun. Or how about a bubble hockey? Our delivery men bring them in and set them up. We even have jukeboxes. Go to our website for more information at tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusements. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.